What's going on guys, Dicky here bringing you another video. Now I know I haven't posted a video in quite a while and that's just been because I've been quite busy to be honest. Now you all know that this channel consists of focusing on the aspects of videography and my journey on being my own boss basically through videography. Now what I decided to do with this channel is spice up a little bit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to incorporate both of my passions and those are of course videography as you guys know but also cars. I enjoy um, watching everything about cars, modifications, new cars releases, speed, blah, 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 and whatnot. So I'm actually quite passionate about that. So what I decided to do is incorporate both of my passions together. So yeah, this is how it's gonna go down now from now on with this channel. So today's video, you guys probably know what's gonna be happening, which by the title is that today we're gonna to be fitting a, a extension spoiler to my car. Uh, now I'm gonna go a bit more information in future videos and regarding this car that I have now, but I've literally not had it for that long, less than a month at the moment, uh, but that's for future videos. Now, what we're actually gonna do is that we're not gonna be putting a Maxim Design spoiler in here. We're gonna be putting an official, official, one of a kind, AliExpress extension spoiler. You heard me, ladies and gentlemen, it's AliExpress. So basically, I was looking at extension spoilers and in the UK, like you're trying to buy it through uh, well-known dealers or even eBay, you're looking about £100 minimum all the way up to like almost 200 quid for it. So I actually just spent £45 on this spoiler. Say what? And I have got it with me, it's already arrived. It took about three weeks and a bit for it to arrive. And it's actually very, very good quality. I got it in gloss black and it's quite, it's, it's lightweight to be fair. It's not even that heavy. Um, so it's going to be awesome to see how it, it completely transforms the car. So let's go into a little cinematic video of my current car and then we'll get to putting spoiler on. Love you now. Love you now. Alright guys, so here's the spoiler. I've already pre-opened it because I wanted to get it all ready. As you can see, it's gloss black. Perfect, perfect. Not even a single scratch. I was expecting at least one or two. Now there is a little bit of a scuff, but it's underneath and you're never going to see it. So I'm not really too fussed about that. But for 45 quid, that's a bargain. Now, this is quite lightweight. It's not heavy whatsoever, uh, which is great. What I've already done as well is I've already added all these to it already now it did come they sent one over the sticky material thing i forgot what it's called um however i bought a different one i was googling online it's a three meter by something it's an adhesive which is a lot stronger to stick uh, body parts onto vehicles so the one at the bottom that bottom one that's the one i've added the one in the middle is the one they've provided it was quite thin so i'm glad i bought a different one didn't use that hope you can hear me there's a plane going over uh, now there are people what they do is that they they add um some sort of like it's like silicon black silicon or something they stick it on it and then that's never coming off however um i mean i want to be able to eventually one day take it off if i ever sell this car and this spoiler fits somewhere else I want to be able to reuse it kind of thing which i think it should be all right but uh, we'll stop talking now and we'll get everything set up so we can stick it on and see how it looks on guys you can see it did rain earlier now i have dried out the top spoiler in here as you can see it's actually not that big the original one that's the reason why i want to add it on the cooper versions you already get it extended which is awesome now what i've done also is i've used a heat gun yeah Oh, hold on, hold on. That's all sorted. So I've got a heat gun in here, guys, to be able to dry it to make sure it's completely dry. What I'm also going to use is to heat up these little parts in here, the sticky bits, to ensure that it gets a good grip onto the physical spoiler. So this is where it's going to get tricky. So what I'm about to do, I'm just going to pop it in here. 
stop hitting all of these off. Ready to mount. So let's hope it does not rain again. The sky's looking a bit grey. This is going to be a bit of a challenge, so I'll probably have to speed this up, guys, because you don't really want to catch me doing this for a long time. So okay, so that's com that's completely stuck down. What I'm actually gonna do as well is I'm gonna heat it up just a little bit of air just to ensure can't reach that side, but hey. Woo! Got the in there. Just to ensure. Really strong. Okay. I'm going to have to open the boot because mask is a bit more done just to ensure it holds it how we want it to. Both sides. The spoiler is on. I know you saw me in the last clip, I was just putting a little bit of tape. I didn't actually do that, I put a lot more tape. And also, what I noticed on this side was this side was lifting up, up a bit, it wasn't fully going down. So, all I did literally was heat it up with the heat gun, pressed it for a long time, and now it's completely stuck to the. I mean, there's a little bit there you can see at the top, still red, the red bit from the other spoiler. However, I've seen that in a lot of cars even with the expensive spoilers as you can see so it's pretty good now the car is looking lovely to be fair like like it's looking a lot better that spoiler just adds a different feel to it now one thing obviously I was like repping my uh, Ledger Studios I had to take it out because you can't really see it. I ripped the top bit that said Elijah Studios, but not to worry because I have another one here. And also, we have another little surprise. So, we have a gloss black shock antenna. So, my car doesn't actually need it. It plays the radio absolutely fine. doesn't have an antenna. However, if we just, if we just put that there, I think it looks quite cool to be fair. I mean, I don't know what you guys are going to think about it, but it's a gloss black antenna. It just it just makes it look nice. Uh, obviously, I'm going to make sure that I center it so it's absolutely centered. I'm going to have to measure it with the logo so it's right in the center. But come on, guys. It looks awesome. I'm very happy about how the car is turning out. Now we'll do some things that you can see now in the car are actually not stuck. They have been changed to, that's why the car looks a lot more sporty than what it is. Of course, let's go, let's turn, let's turn, let's just, let's just turn this. Take the roof out, see how it looks. Look at that, guys. So, I mean, the shark container is slowly starting to grow on me. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to put it on. Uh, it looks good. However, if we just take that out, does it look better without a shark container? I think it might do. I think I've just wasted four pounds. 
However, look at the car. It looks really, really nice. I'm happy with the spoiler, guys. If you guys want to buy the spoiler for your own Seat Leon, then I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can buy it. Now, this would only fit a Seat Leon from 2017, I believe so, all the way up to to 2020 I'm not sure about the 2021 Sierra Leone facelift however there we go guys it is looking absolutely amazing there's a lot more things that are going to happen I've not touched the engine uh, anything inside everything's still stopped it's pretty much just look wise I've changed a few things so yeah guys well guys that's it for the video as you can see we've got our nice little spoiler in there I did end up putting the shark fin at the end just because after looking at it for quite a few minutes I did start to like it again so I'll put it on it looks nice a gloss black again looks amazing there's a lot more things I want to do to this car however engine wise not yet just because I still got 12 months warranty on it so maybe after that we'll do some stuff however right now we're just doing uh, external mods the look of it enhancing it um, however yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video there's a lot more things coming up and there's a few more things that are coming that I need to put on this nice uh, Seat Leon so I've actually got the Seat Leon excellence it's not an FR it's an excellence so I've got high high um, high specs on it I'll go I'll have a video on everything the car has in a future video however for now guys that is it stay tuned because some videography things are also coming some great news so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and stay tuned for more guys peace <music>